Today we're gonna take that boat photo, combine it with different photos, and then we're gonna animate it. Hey there, my name is Ali and in today's tutorial we're gonna create the image you just seen before However, for the animation I'll make a separate video to show you how I animated it and everything is just like using Photoshop So first I'm gonna start creating a new document I wanted a square like pixel so I'll go with 2500 and the same And I'm gonna press create Okay, now I have like my square, I'm gonna drag my first photo and press enter okay now by the move tool I'll move it below maybe I'll make it larger a little bit something like that and then I'm gonna add my second photo these photos are available in the description you can download them I'll make it wider and I'll put it somewhere like that and on the background I will use this color it's some like very bright blue or cyan something like that you can take the code if you want to use it and I'm gonna press alt backspace to color the background and you'll understand why I made that now okay now I'm gonna stand on the layer of the like the avalanche add layer mask then I'm gonna go to my gradient tool make sure I'm on the first one and on black color and like low opacity I'll hold shift and I'll just erase it very softly from below and I'll do the same for the sailor image, but I will like erase the opposite side Yeah, something like that Okay, now I'm gonna stand on top of everything I'm gonna create a hue saturation layer and press colorize This will add a color to everything in the image Now I'll, I'm like free to choose which color I want I will go with something cyan, something like that, that fits And I'll choose the saturation I don't want it too saturated, it looks like bad so I'll go with something like maybe 20% or 22, something like that is good. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the avalanche layer, I'm gonna press Ctrl J. Now I made two copies of it, I'll take the copy below, I'm gonna press Ctrl T, then right click, flip vertical. Now I made it like the opposite, then I'm just gonna move it until it's exactly the opposite of the one below. And I'm gonna change the blending mode to soft light. Now I made a reflection of the avalanche below on the water. However, we have a problem because it's somehow on the man himself. And I want the reflection to only be on the water. So on my layer mask, I'm using the black color. I'm gonna just use a brush. And I'll just paint over the man and the boat. Just to get rid of like the reflections which are incorrect. And I'll leave the reflections on the water. Okay, one more thing. I believe this is too dark. Like the lower area is too dark compared to the upper one. So I'm gonna rasterize this layer. Or no, I'll just leave it as it is. And I'm gonna add a curves adjustment on top of it. And I'm gonna link it to it. Then I'm gonna take my blacks. Pull them up. You see it makes the blacks brighter. And I'm just gonna add a lot of brightness from here also. So now everything is like more brighter. Okay, now the last thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add another curves adjustments. I'm gonna go to the red channel. I want to add some colors. I don't want it to be all exactly the same color. So in the highlights, I'm gonna add some red. Then I'm gonna go to the green channel. In the highlights, I'm gonna add some magenta. Then I'm gonna go to the blue channel. In the highlights, I'm gonna add some yellow. Then in the shadows, I'm gonna add some blue. And in the red channel, I'm gonna add some cyan in the shadows. Okay, you see what it did? This was the before and after. We made it some sort of like different colors. Here it's your more yellow red, and here it's more like blue. Okay, one more thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold Control, Alt, and Shift, and press E. What this does, it merges everything into a new separate layer. So now I can go to filter, camera raw filter. 
And now I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I can like edit all of the photo in one go. So I'm gonna make the shadows a, lot, a little bit brighter. I don't want it to be so dark. In this one, I'm gonna actually increase the clarity. It will make like everything look sharper. It will like look good with the avalanche style we have. I'm gonna brighten up everything a little bit. And some areas are too bright, I guess. So I'm just gonna like bring the whites and the highlights down a little bit. And finally, I'm gonna go to my effects module and I'm just gonna make a vignette to grab, like, bring more attention to the middle area. Okay, now we're done. I'm gonna, I'm show you how to save this photo. I'm gonna press file save as and I'm just gonna change it to GPG and I'm gonna call it Avalanche Tutorial. Okay, okay. I saved this because in like the next tutorial, which is animating the avalanche, uh, like if you're interested, we're gonna use this photo actually, the avalanche tutorial, and we will start from this photo. So make sure you save it if you're like interested in how to animate the avalanche itself. Okay, and that's it for today's tutorial. Make sure you subscribe if you like my content. Thank you.